Hey everybody, welcome back to Joe and Tell. I'm Joe. And if you've watched this channel at all, you know that it has been primarily about either gameplay or drawing. And the whole premise of this of the channel is is Joe and Tell. So it's me telling you about the things that I enjoy and am into uh, and find interest in. So, so far that's been <laughs> video games and drawing. But uh, I also do like to come out on the front porch and have time in the morning to read and enjoy some coffee. And I also like to enjoy uh, a tobacco pipe. And um, that may seem odd, especially in 2023. But uh, I've got a story behind it as to why I enjoy smoking a pipe. And uh, I thought I would share that with you this morning. And... Um, yeah, so this is the first pipe I ever owned, ever purchased. Um, I've got some uh, Peterson early morning pipe tobacco in there, which I'm sure many of you who in the pipe smoking community are very familiar with. It's quite delightful. Uh, I actually have a couple tins of that on on reserve. So I'm going to go ahead and light this and, and then tell you about how I acquired said pipe. So obviously we are outside, so I apologize for any background noise you might hear. Can't really control that. There we go. Now we're talking. So, uh, to back up a little bit, I, I guess at like 18, when I could legally buy them, I got really into cigars. And not just like smoking cigars, but the whole process, the, the growing of the tobacco, uh, the aging of the tobacco, the humidor, the, the, like, the whole process, I was just infatuated by it. So I was really into cigars, and then I think, you know... Um, at the age of, I guess it was 19, I thought, I, I wouldn't mind trying to smoke a pipe. And so I went into my local tobacco shop at the mall uh, when those were still a thing and asked the gentleman behind the counter, you know, what, what pipes he recommends and, and all that. And I, I remember being so embarrassed or nervous about buying a pipe as a 19-year-old kid uh, that I, I, I think I lied and said it was for my dad who, who didn't smoke. Um, I don't know why I just, you know, one of those dumb kid things, but, uh, so anyway, I ended up seeing this one and I, I really liked the shape and look of it and the color. And I think I spent all of, uh, you know, like 30 bucks <laughs> on it. And I don't have any idea what kind of pipe it is. There are no markings on it that I can tell. Uh, it just says imported briar. That's it. So no idea who made it, where it came from, but this is the first pipe I purchased. I've had it for over 20 years. And uh, in that time, I, I probably smoked it maybe five times a year, if that. Uh, and that was usually on vacation. Sometimes it would sit uh, and, and go unsmoked for years. Um, but all that changed about two years ago. And I'll tell you why, in just a minute. So back uh, when the pandemic hit, I was working remotely, like many of us, And I met a gentleman who shall rename, who shall remain nameless to protect his identity. Uh, but he was an avid pipe smoker. And he, of course, he was remote as well. So he 
worked out of his house and he would sit there at the computer and smoke a pipe. And so for the first time in 20 odd years, I had somebody I could talk to and bounce ideas off of and ask about different tobaccos that he liked and where he got his tobaccos. And so it was a, it was a wealth of information for me. And uh, much to my wife's uh, disappointment, <clears throat> he told me about a website called smokingpipes.com. And uh, after perusing that website, <clears throat> And um, over the last year or two, my, my pipe collection has gone from one pipe for the last 20 years or so to about 25 pipes in the last two years. Now, I know that's not a lot. For some of you guys out there, you got 100, 200, 300 plus pipes in your collection. Uh, oh, and by the way, I show my wife those videos and uh, she just shakes her head and says, don't get any ideas. So I got a ways to go before I catch up to any of you. But I do have about 25 of them and uh, I got a lot of tobacco. That's, you know, and my wife doesn't necessarily mind so much the, the, the pipe smoking. She, she's more, I think, <laughs> more concerned about the pipe purchasing and tobacco purchasing. Why do you need so much? Need? Well, you know, you, you want to try them all, right? <laughs> so, I don't know how many tens of tobacco I have. It's, it's a lot. Again, not as, as much as some of you out there, but So that's kind of why I'm not here smoking a pipe. I mean, it's not an addiction thing. It's it's just a relaxation thing, you know? It's The weather's nice. You got some good tobacco, got some hot coffee. I got a book to read. And so it's just coming out here and, and hanging out and enjoying nature and relaxing and just taking a moment to breathe. So I think I'm going to get to reading my book this morning. I hope you enjoyed this little chat. Um, like I said, I just wanted to share another thing that I enjoy doing. And uh, I'll maybe we'll do another one of these on the second pipe I ever purchased. So until next time, thanks so much for watching. Be great if you liked and subscribed. And we'll see you in the next video.